Hi, I'm Nick from Dabashka and this is Bazin. I mean, part of the fun of starting this band when we were in our little garage was just we didn't really put boundaries on ourselves and say we want to sound like this or sound like that. We're just we just sort of gravitated towards the music that got us, you know, got our blood pumping. You know, when we started this thing, we sort of opened up a can of of worms and and uh, and we've been sort of expanding on the same themes ever since. So I think we're sort of further along in the story, hopefully. I think that was also kind of our philosophy on this record. We, you know. We, like you said, we have all these outlandish descriptions of us, and 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 it sometimes feels it's like a pressure, like we have to stay in one direction. And but we sort of made a conscious decision, like if it didn't sound good to us, then we probably shouldn't put it on the record. And if it does sound good to us, you know, it'll be more interesting to record, and maybe you know we'll get more out of it. The wide open skies and the, the big red rocks. We, we kind of make a tradition of driving through there to get to our, our studio. You know, I, it's not like we're running around in the sand with microphones and stuff, which which would be lovely and romantic, but it would probably sound pretty bad. <laughs> I don't know. It's just something about sort of leaving the familiar and getting clearing the cobwebs out of your brain, and something about the wide open skies and and you know massive canopy of stars kind of always helps that, so that's been sort of our tradition before we start recording down there. And it also has a lot to do with the studio that we work in, it's sort of become like our home away from home. And we sort of gravitated towards it because he kind of stopped using technology that came around after the 80s pretty much, so that's one of the things that makes it feel like we're stepping back in time because we're actually trying to use equipment from a, from a bygone era, you know what I mean? There's a song in there called Bad Luck Heels that I've had sort of laying around the house for years and years and was never, could never finish it. I'd play it with the band and we'd never, it was never going anywhere and this has been going on for five years and, and to finally, somewhere we turned a corner on it and, and it actually became this sort of being unto itself and, and just seeing that one come to life like that, that was really my favorite part. There's like a vocal booth in there and I felt like I was going into a boxing ring sometimes. You know, I'd, I'd have this great page of lyrics that I thought was just gonna nail it home and then I'd get in there in front of the microphone and I'd be like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> and then I'd be left with the red light staring at me like, what have I got to say? So there was a few times where, where I, I, I got through that, that struggle and, uh, and that felt good. But I guess the, the best part was probably listening to the first, first real playback you know, kind of like when you do an assembly in a film, the first real playback was was uh, was of the the track, the alley that we ended up putting first, and, and we had been at it for years now, trying to get to this point, and, and hearing it actually um, come to fruition, and, and it was actually it was it sounded really good. <laughs> Not to, I mean, that's gonna sound conceited, but uh, I don't mean it that way. I mean, like after all the doubt and and trial to get there, it actually sounded like a song, and it, yeah, I'll never forget that moment. Mm -hmm.